Last month I demonstrated putting together the Satan is Real cowboy boot tops and since then it's been very busy. I got to fly to North Carolina to deliver those boots and then a couple of weeks ago at the end of January Dale and Morgan and I went on a cruise with the Malthus Brothers and the Country Family Reunion and Larry's Country Diner show. I'll let Morgan share one of her experiences from the cruise. Morgan, tell everyone what you're trying. Okay, I am trying um, a mushroom cream soup. And I don't like mushroom, but this was the only thing I could find with the cream sauce. Everything else has tomato sauce or a meat sauce, and I hate that. So my hatred of tomatoes and meat is outweighing my hatred of mushrooms here. I'm going to be really, really brave and try this. And I want everybody to see and know and applaud me for my bravery. So we're filming. So I'm just, I'm just going to dip my bread in this. And I hope you're zooming in on the gray color. It looks like sludge. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be really brave. As long as I just don't look at it, I'm just going to close my eyes and dip. And we'll see what, what I manage to put my bread in. And there's a lady here in the audience, Lisa, right, that made the Malpas Brothers a set, a, a pair, each one of them, a pair of custom-made boots. And you have got to see these. They are so very, very special. Chris, can you, can you kind of go up to the edge of the stage, maybe, and pull up your pants <laughs> now, Yeah, let me The design came from where? The uh, design came from the Lutheran Brothers' designs. And uh, then the flats on the side, or the ears, mule ears, I call them, they are, I had those put on there because of Leslie Frizzell. He had them on his boots. Each pair has a name, and the name of these oh, well, I know, was a song that hurts me more the second time around, which was a Lutheran Brothers song that you wrote. Such big fans of the Lubin Brothers. For those of you that don't know that, they are just keeping the Lubin's music alive. Tell me, go, go do what, what Chris did there. Now, these boots, what did you see these? Satan is real. And Lisa recreated that just like an album cover. Yes, sir. It's a uh, record uh, lady, a fat lady, the autograph thing. She's like, I can't believe you put Satan in the boots. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, that album, that Satan is real record, changed my life completely. And, uh, and I told her as soon as she had mentioned it to us, I said, I know it's like what I want, but I want to say it's real. And she, and boy, she got it down to the T, man. Oh, the other day. Even now, the same put it in hand.
Today I'm going to show you a fun little trick. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a boot out of a dollar bill. I was on an airplane one time and in the back of the airline magazine there was an origami project. I can't remember what it was but I kid you not I sat with that magazine for two hours trying to figure out how to make whatever it was and never got it. So today I'm going to show you how to make a boot and we'll hope that either I'm a better teacher than that magazine was or you guys are a lot smarter than I am. Okay, I've got a $5 bill here because it was the newest and most crisp bill that I had. You can use any denomination you want. If you're feeling rich, you can use hundreds. Make yourself a pair of boots. So we're going to start out with is just folding it in half long ways and then we're going to fold it in half this way. Now this one is just simply to mark the middle. So crease it well, but we're not going to leave it folded. We're going to unfold it and use where the crease was to fold it again, but we'll know where the middle is. We're going to make a nice sharp point up there right at the middle. Notice that in the center, I didn't quite bring it to the middle. That'll make it easier later when we fold it. There won't be so much bulk in there. I'm going to fold it again. Again, you want a nice sharp point. But leave a little room down in the middle. Like this. Because next we're going to fold it. Just fold it in half. This is the only tricky part right here. Notice that we have an angled edge and a straight edge. I want you to hold it in your hand like this to where the angled edge is going down and the straight edge is right across the top. Now grab that front corner and we're going to fold it up, but not this way. We're going to fold it up from the inside like this, kind of twist it and fold it up. You want to create a nice right angle right here. So again, just grab this front corner and bring it back and up inside. Now you're going to take this corner over here and just fold that edge down to meet the edge that's already there. And then fold that in half. At this point, your project should look like this. Now, if you'll notice, there's a little opening right here. So we're going to bring this one around and tuck it right into that opening. Like that. Kind of put your thumb up inside it so it'll open up. If it's flat, it won't stand up. So we want to open that up. So we'll make it look pretty and bend that toe up just a little bit. Open that boot top up as well. And then if you really want some extra style points, you can fold down these corners like this. There you go. And now you have a little boot. This is how my mama likes to leave tips. She likes to fold up her dollar into a little boot and then leave it for a tip. And if she gets the slightest opportunity, she likes to tell the waiter or the waitress that her daughter is a cowboy boot maker. <laughs>